Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to another week in the studio. This week we have some exciting packages arriving today and also later on this week. I got something really exciting on the weekend. I'll show you. All of these cute mailers from Small Business Supply Co. They finally reopened with so many cute designs for fall and like Halloween slash Christmas. So we got some six by nine mailers. We got 10 by 13 mailers. And I also got a 14 by 12 by 14 or 14 by 19, like a really, really big one. We have quite a bit of orders to package that came in over the weekend and a few orders that were from last week where I had to order some blanks for it. So I'm excited to package those. I'm just waiting on my transfer roll to arrive and it should arrive this evening. So I will package the one order with a t-shirt later this evening, but I'm gonna get out all the air freshener stickers and mug orders out today. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna make some stuff and we're gonna get these orders packed. Yeah, I'm really excited. I also got in my little labels for the coasters. I remember in the last video I showed you guys that I was using my DTF transfers that I actually got made for the neckline of my apparel so that I could have that branding element there. So I was using that for the coasters to brand them for my wholesale, but I actually got the little cotton labels that I had custom made for me. So they're in this little bag. I'll take one out and I'll have to show you. But this is them. Look at how small they are. Like this is my finger and look. <laughs> but they're so cute and I wanted them small so they could fit on the car coasters as well. And basically I'm just gonna glue a little bit of hot glue on the back and then glue it onto the back of the coaster. And this just looks so much more for professional in my opinion. I was just using the DTF uh, transfers as like an interim because I ordered these a bit late. So yeah, this finally arrived. I'm so happy that it came. Now I'm going to begin to make some stuff. I think I'm just going to start by making stickers. I only have like three or four stickers to make. The rest I already have made and then we'll probably get started with sublimation. There's a lot of things we have to sublimate, mouse pads, mugs, and car coasters. So we'll do that. So let's just get right into today. half of the mugs. There's three mugs that have been ordered. One of these mugs that says made to teach. This one says makers gonna make. And then the last one is be your highest self. The green one, I think I've shown it in the past videos. And then I made a new mug that I'm gonna take a picture of. I also sublimated the mouse pad, the pink checkered mouse pad, 
and the two car coasters for this order. I also sublimated a really cool thing coming up for the Christmas collection. It's a car coaster design, but I won't show you guys just yet. But I'm slowly making stuff for the Christmas collection so that when the time comes for me to have to post about it, I have all the products already made and I can make content about it. I can make stories and Instagram posts. So I am trying to get it together for this launch. And I also ordered something really fun, like a photo studio backdrop thing. So I'm excited for it to arrive. I have to actually check the tracking to see when it's gonna come. Okay, I look a little crazy because it took me so long to get these into two bags that would fit. So I have both of my bags filled. This bag holds boxes because it's deeper and has like a big gusset bottom. And this one holds mailers and envelopes and yada yada. Anyway, I separated for UPS and Canada Post. And now I'm gonna go drop them off. I also have to drop something off at my boyfriend's house. So we're gonna take a little trip to the post office. I'm not going to bring my camera because going to the post office is already a huge task in itself. But when I come back, we are going to work on some new collections. I'm going to edit some content and we're going to do some more work. So I just got my transfer rolls in the mail and I actually was waiting on this to press an order. So I got them here. I'm going to cut them out and put them away. I do want to go to Michael's at some point this week to maybe get a little organizer so that I can store these because right now I just have them all inside of my drawer but maybe I could find like even like a like a bin organizer that has like a lid. I have a bunch of the designs that I have multiple quantities of so that I don't have to keep ordering like single designs. morning guys it is now wednesday i did not film at all yesterday i plan to go to starbucks to work on a bunch of like assignments and stuff to get ahead with my online college courses and then i ended up having to drive to my school 
and figure out a whole bunch of stuff that I still haven't figured out. So I have an appointment with my school tomorrow to figure it out. So I was basically doing that all day. I did no work, no orders, nothing, no punch needle. So today is punch needle and I have to make one shirt for an order that I was supposed to do yesterday, but I didn't end up doing that. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna pack the order and then I'm gonna get started on some punch needle. My mom is actually going away on vacation for a week, so I'm doing her nails tonight. So I'm gonna see how much punch needle I can get done until then. And yeah, I'm wearing my In My Cozy Girl Era tee. I have this in an extra large just cause I felt like it would be extra cozy girl if I had it be oversized. You can get this shirt in my shop. It's very, very cute. I love the orange and pinks that this design is. So, I am going to finish pressing this shirt because I already started warming up the heat press. I just took a shower uh, after because I just came back from the gym. So I am going to make this shirt and then we will get to punch needling. I don't know how much I'm going to film today. Okay, so it is now Thursday evening. Yesterday was a bit of a crazy day. My mom was leaving for vacation. so. I was out running errands for her and she was also doing errands and I had to paint her nails. So I didn't really get to work yesterday, but today I finished the punch needle frame. I worked on it yesterday and today, so I finished it. So now I'm going to take out the fabric from the frame and cut them out. And then we have an exciting package to open and I'm so, so excited to share a little bit about something that I'm gonna be doing next week. So let's get this frame cut out and cut these closures out and then I will share the exciting news. This week has been the most chaotic week of all time. I just feel like this week is super chaotic and I haven't been able to like have a full uninterrupted work day. But I just got back from parent teacher night at my brother's school. So now I am home. I had cleaned up the kitchen and now I'm back down here to work for an hour or two. And I'm gonna make my to-do list for tomorrow and I'm gonna hopefully have a full uninterrupted work day. And that's where we're gonna get more content because I have not filmed at all this week. So I have my photo studio here. One really super cute thing that I bought is this pink shopping cart. Look at how cute it is. I love it. It is so cute and it's gonna make for the best content and the best new product photos. So it matches the background that I got. I got this pink background. And I also got a white one. Um, we have a bunch of mouse pads to make actually for a wholesale order. I think about 25. So I have all the blanks and I just need to print them all out tomorrow and press them. Super excited about that. Yeah, I'm really, really tired. It's been a long week of like not doing work, but dealing with like a whole bunch of life stuff. And that's just how it goes sometimes running your own business. Life happens and sometimes you just have to take uh, an unwanted break or just like an unwanted interruptions and that's just life so I really have not worked a lot this week I got some punch needle done which is great and I feel really good about that that I'm staying on track with that so I'm gonna try and get ahead in some other things that I've been pushing off like updating my product photography and I forgot to share the exciting news so next week on Friday I am going to have a branding photo shoot I 
think that I'm going to take the camera along. I'm using the camera as a prop for some photos, but I think I might film some of it. So I'm going to bring my tripod and we might film some of it with my photographer. I met her. She's really, really amazing and I love her so much. We had a call today about my mood board and she encapsulated my vision perfectly. I'm so, so excited. So when I film that video next week, I will leave her details down below if any of you guys are looking for a photographer and you are local to me. She is really, really amazing and she does like family shoots as well. So it's amazing and I'm so excited to do this. She gave me a whole list of things that I should get as props that fit my business and stuff. So I'm really, really excited for that. And I'm so excited to finally have professional photos for my business and they're not like too businessy they're more playful and really just like my brand and I'm so excited to share that with you guys and I'll be sharing it over on my socials first of course on my Instagram and as like my profile pictures but I will maybe show you guys some of the photos next week or the week after like once I get them back so yeah I'm very excited for that I'm going to take some product photos and I'll show you guys some of the process and then I'm probably just gonna shower and go to bed because I've had a long day <laughs> morning everyone happy friday finally it's friday i felt like this is the longest week i've had in a long time so yesterday i made a very very long to-do list of all the tasks i want to get done in the next couple of days i'm going to try to get a lot done today because i might skip out on the gym or i might just go later on in the evening instead of going early so i can try to get as much done today as possible the first thing on my to-do list is to get some wholesale orders out and in order to do that I need to press some of the stuff and make some of the stickers so that's what we're going to be doing first I'm going to start by printing out all of the mouse pad sublimation sheets because those take like so long to print and I need to print like 30 sheets so that's going to take like an hour to all print out so I'm going to get that started I don't want to talk too much today I just really want to get a lot done so it might be a lot of like music and sped up stuff so I hope you guys don't mind, but it just it's harder when I have to talk and make at the same time. It just goes slower. And since I haven't really worked all week, I want to use today as like my productive day and just try to get as much done as possible. So let's get these sheets printed and stickers made. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good now, I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights I don't go Never been sure, no I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I could Like I know I could Like I know
Okay, so I just finished packing a ton of wholesale orders and getting the punch needle done, stickers made, and all of the sublimation sublimation sheets printed. So we have like 25 sheets of paper here. It took so long for these to print. That printer is just so slow, but it works. So whatever. Um, I'm going to now tape all of the mouse blank mouse pads onto these so that I could just press, press, press. And then I'll pack these and get those out. These are for two orders. Okay guys, so I am back from running my errands. I stopped up at the pet store, got myself some lunch, and dropped off all the orders at the post office. Now I'm doing my Friday reset for both like my personal, like cleaning up the house and then for the business as well, because this office is a freaking mess. But I think I'm gonna close this video off here. I'm, I think I have more than enough stuff for this week's video and for the rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna be doing a lot of like admin computer work and that's not really fun to watch. So um, it's just me sitting at a computer for like five hours. So I'm not gonna film that. But if you guys did enjoy this week's video, please make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more studio vlogs that I'm gonna be posting every single week. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.